Kid Wire's father, Terry Wire, blames his son for Erica being disqualified. What do you guys think about this? Still on the news, David O prostrates before Oniru of Iru Land. Well, before going to any other details, if you are new to this channel, please kindly click on the red subscribe button down there and subscribe to my channel. Then turn on the bell notification to get notified anytime I drop new videos. Wait a minute! You. So speaking about respect, Davido visits Oniru of Iruland and prostrates before him. But um, is Davido coming back to social media? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Now let us take a look at the details of this news. Multi award winning Nigerian singer David Adeleke, widely known as Davido, has paid a visit to the Oniru of Iruland. The singer's court sea visit, which he paid to the monarch yesterday, September 8th, has sparked reactions on social media, with Nigerians applauding him on how he showed humility and respect to the monarch. Glad with Davido's homage to his kingdom, the new of Ireland took to social media and disclosed the singer's visit. According to the monarch, he was pleased with Davido's visit and revealed they discussed about boosting tourism in the area. His post on Twitter reads, My lovely Olori at Olori Mariam and I we are pleased to receive the very talented and sensational Davido as well as Shay Tinebu yesterday. I was very pleased with our conversations with the prospects and possibilities for tourism. Well, what do you guys think about this? And do you think Davido is coming back to social media anytime soon? Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Who is excited for the return of Davido to social media? Well, if you guys are, let me know in the comment section below. As for me, well, that guy, we need him back on social media platform. Well, moving further, the Kidwire's um, Instagram handler or whoever is operating Kidwire's Instagram page said that it will make sure that Lacon and Kidwire does not or will not become friends. What do you guys think about this? Is this, is this guy right? normal? Well, let us get in details of this particular thing. Oh, I need to drop inside. Guys, the reason why Lacon and Kid like kid is cool i need you to understand he doesn't know anything lecon has said, said about him please i yeah. am begging you so wait what? so if, if kid knew he would never fuck with him right off right off right i will come into the screen myself like what the hell you understand what i'm saying literally what he doesn't know and i just he doesn't know like that. no one has uh -huh. told him kidwaya will not be friends with lecon i will make sure of that Kidwaya's handler says, Kidwaya's social media handler has mentioned that the only reason why Kidwaya is still cool with Lacon is because he hasn't heard the bad things Lacon said about him. She noted that Kidwaya still rules freely with Lacon in the house because he doesn't know about the bad things Lacon said behind his back. She said, if he knew, they wouldn't be talking and she will make sure of that. The only reason why Kidwaya is still cool with him is because he hasn't heard what he said about him. If Kidwaya knew, it wouldn't be rolling with him right off. Well, what do you guys think about this? I think the way girls um, look at a particular issue is different from the way boys look at a particular issue. Well, um, boys will be boys, girls will be boys. Oh, God, uh, girls will be girls. Well, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Do you think if Kidwaya knew what Glicon has sent behind his back, they're still going to roll or not? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. One of the most controversial parents in the house, Kidwaya's father, Terry Waya. Well, it seems the man is um, wanting attention all over him. He has come out to say that Kidwaya is responsible for Erica being disqualified. But what do you guys think about this? Do you think it's true or not? Or what's your own opinion about this? Or is the man just thinking for attention or what? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below while we go in detail regarding this news. Erica suffered hatred, God disqualified because of my son, Terry Wire proclaims. Terry Wire, the Bologna father of Big Brother Ninja Lockdown housemate, Kid Wire, has said that the disqualified housemate, Erica, got into trouble because of his son. Erica left the lockdown Sunday after flouting several house rules. Among other offenses, she was found guilty of Erica poured water on the head of house bed in order to stop Prince, a deputy, from sleeping on it. She was also found guilty of peeping through the camera window and trying to confront the production team. The Abia born ex housemate also threatened to kill fellow housemates Lacon outside the house. As if that wasn't enough, 
She also used the prohibited word vote while discussing with Kidwire. Before Saturday night's incident, Erica was on two strikes, meaning that just one more would see her leave the reality TV show. But Mr. Wire believes that all Erica did was for his son, Kid. She really stood behind him, and I appreciate that. I'm happy she's somebody who will protect my son because I know he's carefree. He doesn't keep malice or keep anything in mind, he said on his Instagram Live interview. He looks at everybody as a friend and doesn't think anybody has anything against him. But Erica, being clever and smarter, was able to see behind some scenes that the same people he was laughing, joking, and doing things with were not reciprocating the feelings that he had for them. And saw it, and took it upon herself to defend him. She has really, really defended him. She fought the people there, and in the process of defending him, she went into that problem that she had. At a point, a lot of the housemates started hating Erica because of my son. To me, she's a wonderful person. She's nice, he added. But what do you guys really think about this? Do you think Kidwaya is really the cause of Erica being evicted? Well, um, put, um, let's say, Marley's or fan lover um, behind. Let's also hear what you think about this thing um, Erica Kidwaya's father has come out to say. Do you think he's right or not? Let me know in the comment section below. Everyone has that adorable moment when someone surprises them with gifts. Well, who do not love gifts? In today's video, Tasha surprises Tiwa Savage with gifts. But what do you think about this kind of friendship? I know they've not met each other, but still, Tasha is always nice to Tiwa Savage. Say Tiwa Savage is a role model for her. But um, let us get in details and find out the kind of gifts she gave to Tiwa Savage. Yeah. Are you serious? Have you seen Tasha? Tatcha surprises Tiwa Savage with lovely gifts. Nigerian singer Tiwa Savage took to her social media page to post a video that shows the gifts she received from reality star Tatcha. The singer stated that she received the gifts from her despite the fact that they have never met before. In the video, Tiwa Savage seemed to have received the gifts in a shopping plaza. The mother of one was surprised, was spotted holding her chest while examining them. The video also showed that some of the things contained in the packages sent to the singer. Describing Tatcha as a sweet soul, Tiwa Savage expressed gratitude for her show of love while praying to God to bless her. Thank you so much. God bless you, beautiful soul. She can't believe we've never met, but you've been in my corner. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The singer wrote. Well, um, recall that Tiwa Savage once uh bacon the, the public for someone to buy a Beckham bag if you're watching this video and you can buy it was savage a Beckham bag please you can always do that and send it to her well what do you think about this romance do you think it's a lovely gesture or it's a, a friendship maintainers gesture let me know your thoughts in the comment section below who don't love gifts well I, I, I don't know of someone out there that does not love gifts. Well, if you want to send me a gift, ha, you're free to let me know in the comment section below. You can send it as soon as, as possible, okay? Well, this will mark the end of today's video. If you're still here and you're yet to subscribe, please hit on that red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Then turn on the bell notification to get notified. Anytime I drop new videos, you wouldn't want to miss out on any of my news and any of my audits. I, I keep all of you entertained, updated, and... Uh, 
in the entertainment industry. Make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and peace out.